my name is Derek Harper and I've been uh, painting for since I was maybe 17 or 18 years old and uh, I didn't always I wasn't always interested in artwork or or anything like that but when I was 15 I got in with pencil crayons then uh, my father-in-law Lloyd Takpirim was another artist seen my drawings and pencil pencil drawings pencil pencil crayon drawings yeah so he actually gave me one of his brushes and some of his paints and uh, watercolor paper so he asked me to try it out so I did so I tried it out and uh, my lines weren't always as smooth as as yeah. it is now yeah so he encouraged me to try selling them. So I wasn't really interested at that time still until uh, till my son was born. Huh? My son born in my oldest one, my first one, 95. So my grandmother encouraged me to try and do something to like uh, to raise my son or even financially. Yeah? So I started painting so I started taking it seriously so started hitting the galleries and office buildings eventually I didn't know you could walk into an office <laughs> at that time <laughs> <laughs> so so that time or uh, that's basically how I got started to so was, do all your pictures tell a story uh, most of them yeah yeah no. or uh, Whatever mood I'm in, I guess, yeah. And sometimes I, I get this idea, like, when I'm half asleep, then something, I see an image in my head, and then after that, I won't be able to sleep until I either draw it out or so I won't forget the next day, the next morning. And usually, yeah, yeah. Most of them usually have a meaning. During the summer, for me, it's... Uh, Maybe a little bit harder because a lot of people are on vacation and mm -hmm. the usual buyers are not there. But back, but come back. But come September, like during the normal, normal year. Uh, back to their routines as well. Yeah. So it's. I find it uh, better to sell, but. And some artists are pretty good at with their business. They know how to market. That's another thing we have to learn. Well, I have to learn to marketing and all that, networking. Like right now, I'm just finding a lot of connections too. Right now, like this art fellow artist I met uh, last year, and I just saw him at the mall today. He's actually taking me to his usual customers, eh? introducing me and all that. When I'm in an art show, I get the older art artists to look at me, look at my work. Then uh, they would. Uh, tell me to advise me to prices about this much like say like 500 or 700 between that range I would say so to, you're still using mentors as well yeah yeah those kinds of things mm -hmm. like you know, I'll never I'll probably never stop asking advice or anything because you always learn something yeah. from other artists huh? Uh, probably just don't give up on yourself even though if it's it seems like it's uh, like impossible or something like it's it's really hard because you will get criticized you will get put down for the way your art works or some people may like it some people don't kind of thing and I have met people like that it's the only way I can support my family so so I kept doing it. It's never give up on yourself, yeah. No matter what, what people may say about your work. You'll always get better. That's that's what somebody told me there. You'll only get better, there we go.